Ciao ragazzi, qui è Flash Top 1 che vi parla. Oggi vi porto un altro episodio della serie Life is Strange Before the Storm. Ci si vede al fine video per i saluti finali. Ciao! Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Daily rituals are important even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Whoa! Wakey, wakey, edgy, bakey! Last night, seeing Firewalk live, the skeevy assholes, that girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. God was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Wake and bake is part of a healthy breakfast. Better living through chemistry. Fun fact, shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. 
Words of wisdom, don't fail me now. Everything's worth a shot. Adapt or die. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong, and it was awesome. I bet long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. Nice one, Chloe. Mom's gonna love the new look. How do I want to express my teenage angst today? I can't leave without my vitamins. Uh, I really should get going. Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Ugh. 
Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. How can Mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Ah, Mom! Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. It's weird that Mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. Better. I made this for mom when I was like 10 years old. If she wore it now, I... I hate that she hides all our old pictures of dad. What's the matter, mom? You don't want dad to see your new boyfriend? You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. I can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine. If I'm ever stu- Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait. Mom's selling her engagement ring? Ugh, I drank way too much last night. Or was it just an... There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. The preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard, scourge of Arcadia Bay. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair's his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. 
And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me from when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Made that for Mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't Mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? <laughs> Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy and- We're already supporting one. Thanks. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Shoot. I was hoping David could get a job on a container ship. To Japan. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, your... Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that... When you're Joyce Price, AKA Mom. She looks as beat as. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text, you don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark.
Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. I actually have to let this jack-off drive me to school? This is my life now? Kill me. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you the not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. By toolbox, did David mean this? Or did he mean himself?
50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Got it. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. deposits. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Fine, whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. Beh ragazzi, con questo il video finisce qua, spero vi sia piaciuto, lasciate un commento qui sotto, eh, like, condividete, condividete il video così lo vedono anche altre persone, e eh, iscrivetevi al canale se ancora non l'avete fatto. Qui da Flash81 è tutto, ciao!